what you're watching from. I am in Grand Bassam and I'm here with Kinsey. Kinsey, can you please introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Kinsey. I always introduce myself, but today <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do a beautiful video in the beautiful city. Mr. Behind, behind this camera and we're going to discover a lot of beautiful things about this city. Okay guys, I am here in Grand Bassam and I'm here with the well-known tour guide, um, Desiree. He's going to introduce himself properly. So, bonjour. Bonjour. So, I'm um, Desiree, a Balama tour guide in Grand Bassam. So today we're going to discover the historic city of Grand Bassam, the first capital, and to show you the different building, the colonial time, so, and maybe we have to hand at the museum. So let's start. Why do we begin with the colonial tour? So, I, I have to say welcome again. Okay, and let's see. So the first new is, is not the French people who discover Ivory Coast. It's the Portuguese. In 14, 1469. But when they come in here, they make just trade. Trade. So they give the name of the city like uh, Sassandra. So San Andrea is the name of someone, and San Pedro also the name of someone. After them, there was the Nevelis who coming to give the name of uh, Fresco and Grand Lau. After them, after it was maybe the England people, and they stay from Ghana to here, and they call all this this city the Gold Coast. The Gold Coast. Yeah, the Gold Coast. So the place where we can find the gold. Ah. Oh. So this Grand Bassam or the whole, the entire Ivory Coast? Yeah, all belong to the England people. So they call it the Gold Coast. The Gold Coast. But uh, the, after that, the first, uh, the last person is the French people when they come in. When they come in, they stay in the small village called Asini. Ah. Asini. And there, the ocean over come back and there's everything. So overflow and there's everything. And they there left. are a lot of beaches, yeah. the trees, Asini is so beautiful. So they left Grand Bassam to, they left Asini to Grand Bassam. And the 10th March 1893, Grand Bassam became the colonial, uh, the French colonial town. And Grand Bassam became the first capital of Ivory Coast. Wow. So, but they don't stay a long time here due to the yellow fever. The yellow fever destroyed everything, and they left Grand Bassam to another city called Benjaville. Benjaville. Yeah, Benjaville. And they want to. That's in Abidjan. Yeah, it's beyond Abidjan. Beyond Abidjan. Yeah. And they want to maybe come back to Grand Bassam after the yellow fever. They decide to burn all the houses. The houses was in the wood. They decide to burn all the houses, and after in maybe 1905 they come back. To rebuild, and there are some houses who keep the colonial code. So I will show you some these houses. Okay, okay. So what is significant about this hat that you're wearing? Because when I met you, you said this is your tour guide hat. So um, this is the people come from north, maybe north of Ivory Coast. We call this uh, the normal people. So the people who make the tour with the cows. So they make the tour, they work a lot of to make the tour. So am I a guy? I work a lot of to make the tour oh, with some guy. Oh, I, I see. That's my. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> but, I see. Okay. So which street are we standing on right now? Yeah, now we are in the administration sector. So we have to make the tour in the four area. Four area? Yeah, the relation area, the administration area, the commercial area, and we have to end by the Izima village. Is in my village. Yeah. Okay, guys. So let's do this. So my first question is, what does it, what Basa mean for you? For me, um, I don't know, I don't know Grand Basam yet, but to me, Grand Basam is a beautiful place, a place that is worth showcasing, and that's what I'm here to do. So after this tour, I am pretty sure I'm going to have different meanings for Grand Basam. Okay. So today, Grand Basam. So I will explain the small story and you will find the meaning of Grandma Sam. So it was the ladies uh, called Ama and she's ready to maybe take the language. So she go to the farm and at that time the white people come in and ask, what does this play mean? They ask in French, but these ladies don't speak French, don't understand French. Can you say French. it in French? 
Yeah. How did they ask in French? Yeah. Come on, appelle ce lieu. Come on, appelle ce lieu, and she answer Bazoami. Bazoami is the mother tongue, and Bazoami, and so the white people, everything they they understand at that time, they write it. So ah. yeah, they wrote it, and Bazoami, they write Basam. Oh. So uh, this play mean come to help me to carry my language. Oh wow. Because she was waiting for the nini to carry the language. And when the white people come in, they ask, what does this place mean? And she say, Bazoami. So I was looking for the, someone to help me. So Basam means, come to help me to carry my language. Wow. So is this one of the colonial houses? OK, so um, um, when they come in, they stay here. And I was saying there was maybe the yellow fever. And when they come in here, they burn the house. And after, in 1905, they become and rebuild the house. Rebuilt. So there are some houses who keep the colonial tour. So like this one. And this is the guy called Marcel Monnier. Marcel Monnier is live in the residential area, but he, this is was his workplace. Oh, okay. So he sell maybe new papers, everything. So every money he go, he come to his house and take everything here. Go and back, go and back. And they give this street name Marcel Monnier. So let's walk to the Marcel Monnier street. <laughs> I'm afraid of the road. <laughs> the road crossing over. Mm. Kinsey is not afraid of the road. She just, she just she jumps in the middle when the cars are coming. Yeah. OK, I think we can go. OK, we go. OK, mm -hmm. so this is the Marcel what? Marcel Monnier street. The Marcel Monnier street. Yeah, Marcel oh, Monnier is the is French, it. yeah. The seller. So look, the Marcel Monnier. Mm -hmm. So now let's walk to the Marcel Monnier. Here we are in the residential area. So in the residential area, it was only the French people who live here. French people. Yeah, French people. But I can French people from France or yeah, from, from France, from Ivory Coast. From from France, and they work in Ivory Coast because uh, Bassam was the first maybe capital. Of, so, of Africa. Yeah, Africa. So all these territory belong to the French at that time. And the, this area is only the French people, but we will see the house of the, some guy, a black people, a Senegalese who live with them. Ooh, a Senegalese? He Senegalese. came from France? Uh, but not or from the France. Uh, the Mermier. The Mermier. What was his name? For you, what does this guy do and live with the French people, because it was only the French people who live at that area, but he lived with them. What is The Senegalese Yeah, guy. the Senegalese. So, um, for me, what I think is, the Senegalese was helping the French people from France mm -hmm. to communicate with the locals they met. So, that is a good answer. So, is that what he was doing? Yeah. <laughs> ha! Got Maybe, it! Yeah. <laughs> so, is I can say, the intermediate between the French? local people and the French. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, this is his house. The Senegalese yeah, house. Yeah, the Senegalese house. The, the house belong on, always belong to the Senegalese family. And oh. his name is Diao. So come to see Ma Maison Diao. Maison Diao. Yeah, Maison Diao. <laughs> and this is UNESCO Award Heritage. If you see this sign, it that yes. means that this house is... It's a tourist site. Yeah, a tourist site. And when you come here, you have to take a look. Take a look at the house. Ah, the house. So in the wall, you can see the hole. Yes. The hole. So the thing that this is can be between the Ivor, the local people, because it's the intermediate between the French and the local people. So we have to put the hole and to look over in his house. Ah. To watch, maybe to look at in his house. If to see maybe, what he's doing. Because if he can between maybe the local people you can also be told us ah so they, they put this they use these bricks as a way of monitoring him yeah and see what he's doing with the local people yeah ah, and people. just near to his house we, we put the police they put the police station to overlook in the house I mean, what's the point of working with someone if you don't trust them? Okay, so now we'll see the first school of Grandma Sam. So this is the first school, the colonial school. The one on the right. 
Yeah. No, the right is the teacher house. Wow. Yeah. Teacher house and, and this. And then is... the cream and brown, that's the school. Yeah. So is this the current school right now in Grand Bazaar? So uh, this yeah is still a school. And this is for ladies at that time. So right now it's for both gender. Yeah, both gender. Mm. So in the past, they put all the boy here and the lady is half. So when you see, because at that time the lady was very old, they have the children. So they're coming at school with the children. Oh. Yeah. When the children crying, they just keep the children half and they make they take classes under. Uh. And there was the leaders. Political leaders of Grand Bassam? Yeah, they take classes at that school. The political leaders took classes at this school? Yeah, as well. yeah. Weren't they from France? Uh, no, from France. Who were they from? There was Ivorian people. I was talking about the Ivorian people who take oh, class with the, with the French people here. Oh, mm -hmm. the, the Ivorians. Mm -hmm. The Ivorian political leaders. Yeah. They took classes with the children. Yeah, with the. They, uh, they don't give class, but there was a student at that school. Okay. <laughs> so, all these leaders was in jail with the French people. So, I was talking about the leaders, the political leaders, that really? was in jail. After they classes here, they, they, after the World War I and the World War II, the soldiers come back to the World War One, World War II, they think that Ivorian people are very smart, so they have to create a political party. And this is the bad. This was the bad news for the French uh, governors, colonizers. So they decide to keep, maybe to keep all the leaders, to put in the jail, and they put in the jail. So I will show you the. So this is the shoes of the jail, the colonial jail. <laughs> so, um, because the colonizers realized that the Avorans were smart, they decided to jail their leaders. Uh, mm, yes, yes. And these le uh, leaders decided to create maybe the political party. Mm -hmm. So they don't like Avoran people to create a political party. So <gasps> let's keep the leaders to put in jail. And so, that, so with our leaders, the people won't create political party. They put it in the jail. They don't uh, want us to be united. Yeah. So this is the street for the colonial jail. But now it's this. It's the jail. We don't go over there. It's, it's the jail of Grandma Sam. Yeah, Grandma Sam. Still the jail. Yeah. Oh, wow. So you mean right now as we're looking here, we're, still, we're next to... There are criminals in the jail. Yeah, the crim but it's not this house. Oh. Yeah, it's not this house. Oh, the jail. So the yeah, the jail is over there. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. These two is at that time was imported by the first president because he say uh, Bassam is nearer to the ocean, so he has to import the tree to make Bassam a beautiful city for the tourism. Ah. Oh. So that. So Ivorians have always um, loved tourism. Tourism. I feel like tourism can make a country great, especially Ivory Coast. There are so many beautiful places, and I like how people promote tourism in the country. Yeah. So uh, the cocoa tree comes from Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka? Yeah, Sri Lanka. And they have so many guest houses, hotels in Grand Bassam. Yeah, <laughs> because Grand Bassam was the first capital one. And the colonial code is the tile come from France by boat. The windows and the wood also come from France by boat. Is it a private house? No. And when they come in here, they add the beton. So it's the one house who keep the colonial code. We keep the colonial code. Mm -hmm. Which house is this? So this is was the governor office. So now I will show you the century mango tree come from Brazil. So so these mango trees, century mango trees, 1894. 1894. Yeah. 1894. 
All this mango tree come from Brazil. Wow. Was this imported by... Were they imported by the... The first president. The Felix first Ufobon. president. Yeah, Felix Ufobon. Wow, he really had a vision for tourism. Because this is... Great. So it's imported for the shadow. So now we are in the administration area. So you can see maybe, you can see over there, the tax, tax hours. In the front we say Empo. And this one? Yeah, this one. It's the tax house. Ah, imports. This is the imports, right? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, Grand Bassam is so beautiful. And my favorite thing is the trees. The trees, trees are everywhere. And then the sun, the way the sun had like this, so at least the trees exactly. can the trees can provide that kind of warmth for you. That kind of cool air. So in my country, these houses. Uh, we have houses like this, but they were built by the American Liberians who came to Liberia um, in 1822. They were the freed, the freed blacks from America. The ACS, the American Colonization Society, when they went to Liberia. So this one is the counter, this building. So Sefau, where's French counter? So this is the ladies who work. Oh, son, I Work from Abidjan to set free the husband. I was talking about the husband was in the jail. Oh, the women. Yeah, the women who work to set free the husband. You see, women, women are amazing. Mm -hmm. We are amazing. How are you doing that? No, it's So which building is this? So now we are in the commercial area. Commercial area. All this building was the supermarket. This is the first bank of Ivory Coast. Central Bank of England. Because I was saying the territory belonged to the England people. Okay. So they built the bank and the French people had to pay the tax to the England. Oh. And if after taking your money here, you have to spend the money to the first luxury hotel. Wow. So this is the first luxury hotel. Let's go. Maybe overview inside. The first luxury hotel in yeah, Africa. In Ivory Coast. Damn. Luxury see luxury, luxury high. <laughs> ah, go. And now all was well, is abandoned. I hope there are no snakes. So. So I was talking about the tree, the parasite. So oh. this is facus, facus. Where you don't do any fence, it destroys every fence. So you take over the tree. England house, it still belongs to the England family. Just the, wing house? Yeah. The first house with the... This is so pretty. Mm -hmm. With the pool inside at that mm. time. <laughs> it was the biggest house on the block. <laughs> I know, I, I know, during those days, if you come from this house, then you're rich. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Maybe 4,000 ladies walk from Abidjan to Grand Bassam to set free the husband because the husband was in jail in Grand Bassam. So remember from the beginning when we talked about the men who were imprisoned by the French people from France. Yeah. Because when the French people realized that Ivorians were smart. Yeah. And they want to create did a political succeed? party. Yes. Did they succeed in freeing their husbands? Yes. They did it in 1999. Damn. 4,000 women? Wow. Yeah. Work for only eight husbands. So they self with their husband. And one of the ladies living here, Anne-Marie Raji's her name, and the house belonged to the Anari Rai family. And people are living here? Yeah, people are living. I, I the the same family. 
during those days when people were building houses, the houses were strong. Yeah, strong. Because Very I was strong. saying all the material come from friends. Because after decades and the houses are still strong. So, so one thing I like is the fact that Avorans are not letting the house just go to waste. Mm -hmm. They're actually rebuilding or redecorating like this. Mm -hmm. Like in Ghana, we say Nana too. So Nana Amontano Desire is his name. Was he a Ghanaian? Uh, because that Nana name sounds Ghanaian. It, it doesn't sound foreign. I was saying this group is Akan group. So all the Akan group come from Ghana to Ivory Coast. Oh. Now. And it's the Inzima people who live here. So this is Inzima King. That is oh, why you have, nice. yeah, Nana. So maybe do you know the sign? The different signs. No, I don't know the different signs. Oh, I know that I just. So know. let me, I will choose two to explain. Can I choose the two for you to explain? So I, have, I want to start by this one. Gie Niamie. Gie Niamie means that God is above everything. So the king know that before being king is God. Okay, so what does this symbolize? Uh, this is the palm tree, and there are the different family. Okay. And this family had the same symbol, that tree. So it means that that tree uh, gave them maybe oil, gave them food. So food. there are different families in the palace? Yeah, in the palace. There are seven families. Seven families. Yeah. Like in Ghana, so the fam in Vlaville, do you know about the story, maybe this festival called Abisa? Do I've you? heard of it. Yeah. So we are Abisa ceremony come from Ghana to Ivory Coast and these people so celebrate this and the different family. In Vlaville, so is the family who have the drum. Before making the show they had to get the drum to the king. Wow. Grandpa Sam has a lot of history. Okay, come. We have to hand by this one. So let's hand by this sign. I love it the most because this is Sangofa is the name. Sang the bird looking yeah, back. Yeah, looking back. So it means that you can be modern, but you have to go back to your roof. Yeah, that's why this bed looking back. I think I like it too because you can you can be modern as you said, yeah. but you can still look back and try to incorporate your culture in everything you do. Everything you do. You hear that, guys? In as much as we're, as we're all trying to be modern, let us not forget about our African heritage and our African culture. Even though I am of the belief that. There are certain cultures that are not useful to people anymore. If a culture is harming the people who are supposed to follow that culture, then it needs to be stopped. But besides that, we need to uphold the African culture. There's, there are so many good parts of Africa and African culture that we need to keep upholding. And if you agree with my opinion about the African culture, let me know in the comment section. Originally, I had planned to make a video of the colonial tour in the museum into one video but the colonial tour was more extensive than i had prepared for so this is going to be a separate video on its own so i hope you enjoyed the walk i hope you learned something new and you have and if you have anything let me know in the comment section also desiree did really well with his english <laughs> thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe bye bye